Hi, I'm Jamie, and this is Pitching Room. Relate, a word we use to describe a connection in storytelling. The idea of it draws energy and emotions from the viewers themselves. It is a kind of narrative where nothing is told, but at some point of our lives, we felt and experienced the same things. First time we ride a bike, first baseball game, first camping trip, first beer, first part-time job, first love. Boyhood is a film shot over 12 years with the same cast. Although the name of the film is Boyhood, the story is hardly about Mason alone. From Mason Sr.'s transitioning of a young adult to a responsible father, to Olivia becoming a strong single mother, and Samantha growing up to be an independent teenager. Coming of age doesn't just apply to Mason, but to all the characters growing up together in those 12 years. Watching the characters grow and progress right in front of our eyes almost gives a certain kind of clairvoyance and insight into the characters. It's almost like we the viewers are experiencing the first times together with Mason and Samantha. It definitely gives a certain kind of immersion watching the years pass for the characters. The story becomes more believable and the audience gets to know the characters. Personally, I felt the story needed more mundane moments, rather than highlighting each year. At times, I felt the drama was too much and kind of diluted the concept. Something that I really enjoyed was that the directing and filming is straightforward and kept the focus on the characters more. My favorite part about Boyhood are the lapses in the plot points. For example, there is some chemistry between Olivia and her professor. A year later, they are together. Or when Olivia told a Hispanic worker that he should go to school, and towards the end of the film, he appears to have taken her advice. And Mason Sr.'s friend, Jimmy, whom only pops up twice in the film, and is still a musician at the end. Boyhood feels like a memory film because of the lapses. We don't see miles in the journey, only the checkpoints. Richard Linklater further enhances the lapses with his use of music and media to depict the ongoing years. There are other films that use similar shots and techniques to create a sense of time and period, but the way Boyhood did it is rather warming. There's a certain kind of honesty about Richard Linklater's approach, and that is he doesn't shy away from using mainstream pop songs. The songs distinct each passing year, and showcases every period and its cultural trend. At the start, Yellow by Coldplay, released June 26, 2000, immediately brings us back to the end of the 90s. There's almost a certain kind of arc in the ensuing songs. It starts with rock. Hate to say I told you so, The Hives. Anthem Part 2, oh. Link 182. Look like, how in this street? <laughs> Soak Up the Sun, Cheryl Crow. Could we? Cat Power. My Good Gal, Old Crow Medicine Show. Crank That, Soldier Boy. I'll see you later, guys. Yeah. One. Blake's got a new face. Vampire Weekend. 1901. Phoenix. Okay, guys. Have a good day. Mason, don't forget. I have to teach late today. Sam's going to pick you up. Right, son? Yeah. Good girls go bad. Yeah! Cobra starts. Talking about... This is going to be badass. All right, let me see. Helena B. Foster the people. I'll be around. Yola Tango. The music with the picture brings us along to major events in the different years. The audience can find nostalgia and memories, even if we aren't invested in the characters. Boyhood relates to our world because it doesn't matter who we are. Time passes by. Even if we can't look back fondly, we continue on because the best has yet to come. I love you.